Okay, here I am again, Rene from Spain, and this is going to be a different type of video because in this video I'm going to show some records I never really liked, you know, by uh, by different bands. I'm not going to show myself this time because you all know how I look like by now. Um, some albums I don't want to show uh, albums that everybody shows when they show their, their their worth albums, you know, by bands. For example, everybody shows nowadays the the latest Morbid Angel album. I even don't own that one. Uh, or uh, people talk uh, when they talk about Def Leppard, they think that the record Slang was bad. Or when they talk about Metallica, is they always show Saint, Saint Anger, like the worst album by by Metallica. Or a lot of people didn't like the Demolition by Judas Priest. I mean, I didn't like that album either. Uh, the second Widowmaker was quite bad. I mean, I had it and uh, finally I sold it or I traded with somebody. Also, the second King James, I traded it. I didn't like that one. Of course, people, when they talk about Scorpions, the Worth album, they always mention Eye to Eye. And But I'm going to show some records that maybe that people don't really always show. And I'm going to start with Diamond Rex. I mean, Diamond Rex is a glam metal band from the 80s. They released a cool record, I think, back in 86. And then one more, uh, uh, then an EP, I think, in 1990 or 91. And also one more record in the early 90s. And uh, they were good, you know, good albums. You know, uh, very much influenced by Alice Cooper. The singer even looked like Alice Cooper. But on these two records by uh, Diamond Rex, uh, they changed the sound very much. You know, it's very modern. And to me, sometimes it even reminds me of Marilyn Manson. You know, some of the tracks, you know, I don't, I don't really like them, you know. Anyway, this album I don't like, the by Diamond Rex. Okay, and all the album I didn't like at all is this one by, um, by Mortification, Erasing the Goblin. Uh, it's a very weak record, you know, they have a lot of cool albums, these Australians, but this one is just very weak. Uh, they mix some hardcore with thrust metal... Uh, I mean, but not 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 good hardcore because you know I like old school hardcore, but you know I think uh, they just don't put the right uh, hardcore influences on on this record. Plus mortification and hardcore, you know, to be honest, it doesn't fit at all. An old album I didn't like at all when it came out, and I still don't like it nowadays, is La Rafa de Amor, Amor Saint. You know, their first comeback album, uh, Revelation, that came out in uh, in the year 2000, was a very good album. I bought that one on vinyl. And then 10 years later, in 2010, they released um, this album. And, uh, you know, I didn't like this album at all. I mean, a couple songs are okay, but it's a very weak record by uh, by Armored Saint. Another weak, weak record is uh, Scream by Ozzy Osbourne. You know, this is uh, quite a cool edition because it's the tour edition. That includes an extra bonus CD. And the bonus CD is quite good. You know, you can see here the set list. You know, some live tracks, and it's good. But the album, you know, sucks quite a lot, you know. I mean, a couple songs are okay, but it's, um, no, it's not a strong record. Another album I didn't like is Dragon Town by Alice Cooper. I mean, Brutal Planet was like its own industrial influence record, but it has some good songs on it. You know, Brutal Planet, like uh, the song Brutal Planet, Sanctuary. You know, those are good songs. But on Dragon Town, it's very hard to find a good song. You know, it's also uh, industrial influenced, but the songs are just not not nice. This one was, was a own disappointment, Bonfire, the Rauber. Uh, the, the lyrics were in German. I mean, actually, this one is in English. Yeah, sorry, in English. But anyway, the title is in, um, in uh, German. Uh, I think this was a kind of, um, uh, how you call this, uh, concept album, you know. But uh, I never really got into it. Not not nice. Uh, Chastain, I'm a big fan of Chastain, and this one, Six Society, is the worst album they ever released. You know, this came out uh, uh, back in '95. You know, also it, get, it has modern influences. I don't like it. A Night as an Opera of Blind Guardian is also a chaos of a record. You know, it's, it's chaotic. It's uh, it's too much instrumentals uh, all mixed in, in, into different songs, like. It's like too too chaotic, you know, too uh, noisy for you know for a Blind Guardian album, you know, and the songs are not very strong. You know, there's one good one or two good songs on it. I even don't remember the title, but the rest of the record is not so good. Uh, Blackfoot, uh, Vertical Smiles, 
it is a very re weak record from 84. I mean, I love the one before this one, Siogo. It had many great songs on it. You know, very much, uh, the sound is very much like Rainbow from the early 80s, actually, that record. But this one is a very weak hour. Very, very weak. Also, the record cover sucks. An old album that disappointed me very much when it came out was this one, Machine to Machine, by Doro, also from 95. Also, again, industrial influences. I don't forget that uh, in the mid a mid 90s, um, you know, Nine Inch Nails or Ministry were quite big bands, you know, or even Prodigy. And a lot of these uh, classic uh, metal uh, musicians, you know, they they got influenced by uh, by those bands. And I was quite sad because uh, this album, some songs are okay, but be but because the industrial touches to to the songs. It just makes the song sound weak and without power, you know, it's not, they're not nice. Halloween, this one, Rabbit Don't Come Easy. This is a very weak record in my opinion. It came out in 2003. You know, that's why I, I think this is the worst album. I mean, Chameleon, in 93, when it came out, I was also disappointed by that album. But nowadays I listen to it and I find like five or six good songs on it. But on this one, Rabbit Don't Come Easy, this may be two or three good songs. The rest is just very weak. Another weak record is this one by Halix. It's a business doing pleasure. And this came out in 2003. No, no, 2003, no, before that. Uh, no, 1993. Yes, 1993. And nowadays they are uh, back again, Halix. And I think the records of nowadays are better than this one. This one has no power, no balls, nothing. It's just very weak. This one by Hammerfall is uh, the one I, I least like by them, Infected. I don't really like this record. You know, the bonus, uh, I think there's a bonus CD here too. Yes, there's a BV DVD on it. But uh, this is, uh, no, this is not an album I, I, I listen to very much. You know, I prefer the early ones a lot more. This was also a very bad comeback album by King Cobra. This came out in the year 2000, I think it was, 2001. And it was very, very weak, you know, very strange sounding records. And I didn't like it. I mean, nowadays uh, they are releasing records again and they are a lot better than this one. You know, this one is just weak and, and bad and forget about it. It's the best thing you, you can do. And all the records that really disappointed me when it came out was Firehouse, their third album. I mean, the first two were, I, I mean, I really love them. Those are hard rock, uh, melodic hard rock classics. You know, I really love those albums. But this one, no. This one, uh, I really never got into it. Uh, a lot of acoustic songs. Um, no heavy tracks on it, really. You know, maybe one or two. And the rest is just very slow and boring. You know, that's what, uh, that's the way I would describe this record. Boring. Okay, this is everything I want to show in this video. I just showed 15 CDs by 15 different bands that, uh, that, that I, I own ev nearly everything by them, I think. But these are the, the, the ones I least like from their discography. Okay, I hope so you like this video. It's a little bit different as normal. Uh, let me know some of your uh, weakest records, you know, albums you never really liked. Um, put them in the... You can, you can put maybe a comment if you want to. And uh, if, if maybe in the future you want to make, make a video like this yourself, uh, do it. Well, because it will be nice to see which record you will pick out like being the worst in your uh, collection. Uh, okay, um, stay metal everybody.